A stone's throw from the Abu Dhabi downtown waterfront, it is hard to miss major construction work. Hotel and apartment towers. And road building. It does not look as if there's scope for a recession here, or heading east to Asia, where growth is expected to average more than 8% next year. But former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown says European disunity caused by debt problems in Greece and elsewhere cannot be ignored by the fast-growing countries of the world. All this emphasizes is that what happens in one continent affects another, and that we have to have a better system of international cooperation for the future. After the 2008 banking crisis as prime minister, Brown pushed for greater coordination by ushering in the G20 group of nations, in part to tap those with vast surpluses. That same refrain is being sung today. Obvious ports of call for European governments in search of liquidity would be the sovereign funds, some, of course, of which are based here in the Gulf. But the dynamics have changed over the past three years. After the Arab Spring, for example, more money is staying closer to home. China has the most weight to throw around with more than $3 trillion at hand in foreign reserves. Add the other BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, and India, and the tally is more than $4 trillion. If Middle East sovereign funds are put into the pool, there's another $1.4 trillion. But an IMF executive board member says don't expect the taps to be opened on a grand scale. It doesn't mean you won't see isolated transactions. You won't hear a lot of good words being spoken that will attempt to stabilize the markets. But we haven't seen huge tens, hundreds of billions of dollars of capital being redeployed as a result of some desire to stabilize the global system. Isolated transactions include moves by the Emir of Qatar through his sovereign investment funds to buy a Greek bank and a mining group despite the continued unrest and uncertainty. China, for its part, has held talks with Italy and Spain about the purchase of multi-billion euro bond transactions. But there are strings attached. We have seen uh, the Chinese leadership in the past couple of weeks come out with a couple of statements that basically indicated, yes, we are going um, to invest in, in European assets, uh, but there are a couple of conditions that we would like to see be met uh, by Europe and the United States. It's a buyer's market for those with surplus funds, but with other priorities such as development closer to home. John Defterius, CNN, Abu Dhabi.